Hey YouTube, welcome to TCT and the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. My name is Dion, the crazy because I just am sometimes. I don't mean to be. I am just a little off um, troll because I consider myself a troll, a true troll, but it's troll nonetheless. Guys, I am so full and my stomach's feeling weird. I met friends for dinner at Bahama Breeze and then I went straight from there to a Zumba class and I just want like some hot tea and a hot shower and just to lay down. <laughs> I did just take my pain medication because my right knee and my right hip are not happy at all. But I wanted to just come on and just play in makeup and to tell you about this face. I did the base um, because I was meeting friends out for dinner. Because I'm thinking I'm going to go to Zumba class and sweat and I'm going to be looking really crazy. So I didn't know what was going to happen. But what I did was I... I purchased um this is the crazy because now i'm like my brain is freezing on what it is that i'm trying to say i purchased some additional fenty setting powders because the cashew i'm not able to use under my eyes because it makes my eye discoloration look worse but i do use it everywhere except under my eyes um so i was in the store and i was in sephora i think it was like last week and i was wanting to find a powder for a bronzer or possibly a contour their matchstick in I think it was rum no it was truffle it just it looked grayish on me and I didn't like that look at all and you can clearly see a line like where it was and where it wasn't and even when I blended it out it it just did not look good and so I thought well maybe I can just use you know another powder versus the matchstick and the reason I'm trying different setting powders versus pressed powders is because I'm allergic to nickel so anytime I hit pan on a product and the brush hits like the bottom of the pan or even like the sides of the pan it breaks my face out and so that's why i'm experimenting now with pressed powder i'm sorry with loose powders so i can just get away from pressed blushes and pressed bronzers and pressed contour colors and so i said well let me try that and so she kept saying you know i should get banana from under my eyes and i've used the ben Nye banana powder way way back probably like 15 years ago and it just didn't look good on me and i know a lot of people love banana powder but for me it just did not it made me look kind of ghastly <laughs> and so i told her i don't do anything banana you know since then and so i was reading reviews on um let me back up while i was in the store she put nutmeg around the perimeter of my face and i kind of liked i did like how it looked i liked how it looked and so i'm like oh, okay maybe i'll try that and so i'm looking online at the reviews um of people that's tan slash olive complexion and a lot of people were saying they like butter for under their eyes the first fenty setting powder i tried was butter and i used it all over and it was just i was look like i was dead <laughs> But there were quite a few people who said they use butter under their eyes and they use honey for the rest of their face and it looks really nice. And I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. And so after seeing that combination like five or six or seven times, I'm like, you know what, I'll try it. And so I did purchase the mini ones. Of course, I didn't bring them here, but here's the boxes. And so what I did today was um, I did get the mini and nutmeg as well. And so what I did was... <laughs> Because I never let my foundation fully dry down before I put powder on, I still put um, the Lancome Long Time No Shine um, Translucent Powder just to set my under eye in here where I put my concealer and lightly, very lightly dusted the translucent over top of my foundation. And then I took butter and I only put that like right here under my eyes only, like right there. And I'm like, okay, that looked all right. And then I took honey and put that everywhere else. <laughs> I am powdered down and then I use nutmeg just very lightly on the perimeter of my face and under my jawline and a little bit right here and I set all of that with um, the cover effects high performance setting spray something or other the one that's in the light gray container and so that is what's on my face today and I did not touch up you see I'm sweaty <laughs> The only thing I did in Zumba class, actually a couple times, excuse me, like even my eyeball sweat. Like, do you guys get this where, <sighs> but anyway, um, <laughs> the only thing I did in Zumba class, because I can feel it, like, I don't know if you guys can see, but I can feel, and I can see in the mirror down here, there's like beads of sweat right here and on this side. And so the only thing I did in Zumba class was I very lightly just tapped right here, like I'm doing right now. And where it's shiny, yeah, that's the sweat and also the powder. And so that's the only thing I did a few times, like I'm doing right now, and it's very lightly. And this is during class, and so I'm careful to like not 
you know, smear. And so I just did one of those and I did a couple along my hairline because I could feel like beads of sweat. And so this is all I did for my face. And I did this face, I think it was at 4.30 and right now it is 9.30. And so I'm liking these powders. And so even though I feel like really sweaty and going like this, I can see it cracked like here. And there's really nothing I can do about that except try to blend it out, but then it removes it and then you can see the redness around the corners of my nose. And so actually I think that's going to be it for this video because I was going to do my eyes, but talking about these powders, this video is probably like however many minutes. And so, but that's just it. So I'm experimenting with the Fenty powders. I'm liking how this turned out. I like how even when I really felt like I was sweating, it seemed to just absorb <laughs> into my face. My makeup didn't run. I did use the Hydro Grip um, Primer for Milk and the Cover FX Power Play Foundation in G6. That's the foundation and primer that I use on my face. And then I put the powders on and that is it. And I do have some creasing here, which I usually do. But, you know, dinner was like two hours. We were eating and laughing and talking. And I do have lines and, you know, things down here. So, so nothing is not as it usually is. And so I'm going to continue experimenting. I do like how these powders turned out. I like the placement of, you know, the butter here, the honey everywhere else, and the nutmeg around the perimeter. And I even forgot to put blush on. But as you can see, my face is kind of flush. Anyway, so that's everything on my face. And so thank you guys for watching. And you will see me in the next video. Bye.